Hello guys and welcome to episode 8 of our Vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. Uh, last episode we did a few things including our little forestry town which uh, has gone down quite well. Went off camera, I just expanded it a little bit, added in a few more buildings. I've just realised that this is polluting isn't it? And it's actually killing the trees here. But I didn't realise that building actually pollutes. Even though apart from this very obvious kind of like little smokestack that's pouring out stuff, it's also killing the trees on the road as well. Okay, that's not ideal. I'll move that. But off camera, I added these two buildings in just to expand the industry area a little bit. Um, and this will just continue to expand as it grows. Uh, the town has also expanded a little ways over here as well. We've added in some more streets just to fulfil a little bit of our residential demand. And then also over here, um, previously this road just ended with this tram turnabout. Uh, but we had a little bit more commercial and residential demand. So what I've done is we just added in a little another high street and a couple of more blocks of uh, residential. A bit of commercial on this crossroads here. And then it bends around more commercial. And then it comes into a little uh, renewable green cities commercial district. This is just a one way road. And there's a nice little park in the middle. Uh, yeah, so I didn't think that was really worth recording and making an episode out of. It's just a bit of general expansion so we can crack on with uh, today's episode, which will be starting a kind of mini downtown, kind of a bit of a, a high density suburb leading into our mega um, super high rise downtown, if you can call it that, uh, which will be situated along this coastal region. Uh, also off camera, I messed about with some canals to find out how they actually work. So these are now all deep canals. We also added in this fence along here as well, so it doesn't stop people from walking into it. Or does stop them, rather. Uh, and then it flows under the highway. Through here. And then it branches off here. And there's also a little bit of a uh, pathway here that leads from the industrial estate here. And then switches to dirt on this side, and then people can make a little ascent across the canal. And then this will lead to different areas. Uh, but if you carry on following the canal, there's a little branch that comes off here. So I'm hoping ferries will be able to follow this route. If not, we can maybe smooth it out or not even let them go up here at all. And then this comes down into a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a residential area that I'm hoping we can make today. Um, so I actually want to zone this area out, so I've just drawn these roads out and also uh, from this little highway exit that's over near the forestry town that we finished off last time, uh, this now just expands down, those angles are a little bit too sharp for a highway, maybe smooth those out a little bit off camera, uh, and then this comes into a little roundabout where people can exit and ex uh, en enter onto the highway and then come off it, and then this road will be our industrial revolution if you like. Because uh, if we look on the resources tab, there is a huge patch of oil here that we can that we can use. Uh, and on a note of that, I'm pretty sure there's a cheat in cities to put on unlimited resources. Because I don't want to have to build a huge um, oil manufacturing extractor area just for it to disappear and become entirely useless. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't. I don't think that counts as mods, so it wouldn't be um, out of keeping with the vanilla part of this series I don't I hope anyway I'd love to know your guys opinion on that if you think it would um, break the vanilla aspect of the series if we use the cheat for unlimited resources then we won't do it but otherwise I think it's okay so these little roads that stick out by the canals are going to be um, high density residential And I also want to give them a specialisation too. I want them to be renewable housing. Because there's some really nice looking um, renewable houses with the Green City stuff. Uh, especially with the high rises. They look really cool. So we'll see if we can get some of them to grow here. And they're, they're also going to need a little park, aren't they? Maybe a um, large park with trees fits in quite nicely there. And then we'll link this up with paths. There we go. And that's going to be too short, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's quite annoying. Ah, it doesn't matter too much. 
Okay, so hopefully these guys will grab some power fairly certain. We just need some guys to build here. Which I'm guessing, of course, they won't. So this road off the roundabout, uh, I don't think we're going to use this one, so I'll actually delete that. We won't have anything over here. I believe this is just empty park woodland. I really need these guys just to build. That would be fantastic if they would. Oh, let's just link them into there to now until, until they do. Uh, so I want a little bit of... Uh, high density uh, commercial around here as well and a little bit of a transport hub not too major and um, not like the one that's going to be in the main downtown area of this of this bit but um substantial enough to be kind of a hub for this part of the map okay so I want that there and then we're going to have a little place for buses to come and turn around. So we'll use the grass with green roads. And this will come up to here. And then we'll have one coming down here. Up to there. There. There and there. Okay, so I'm just going to try and use this layout here to keep traffic flowing. And I do want, let's see, what public transport can we get in for them here? I don't want to use trams. Trams is a little bit too far out, but maybe we could start our metro line. That would be a good place to have a stop on this little section. And the line's going to be flowing over that way, isn't it? So really we want the orientation to be facing this way. And that'll be a good spot. So it'll definitely be buses here, I think, won't it? Maybe let's put the bus station in here. Okay. These guys also have water already, if you're wondering why they're totally not complaining about that. Could do with decorating these parts here. So in England, at least, we have a lot of these kind of canal communities. There's a lot of like nice high-rise flats and apartments right near canals, especially in the cities. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what they look like, you can actually go and Google um, something like the Birmingham Canal um, has kind of a look like that. So you can see where I'm getting my inspiration from. Okay, let's do the usual annoying water pipe layout. Okay, let's start generating some bus lines uh, just so we can see people coming and going. Okay, so these uh, this first bus line will come in from here. And then actually maybe we should have a little... No, let's just have the two-way again. There we go, that works out nicely. I was going to consider having that as a one-way, but there's really no point... Uh, okay, so add stop. So he can come. Do these people need one? No, they don't. They can stop in there and then it can come back out the highway. Uh, so he can. Yeah, he can, he, can, he can come through here. We'll leave one stop on this line. And then if he comes through the town, one there. And then one there for people that want to get on. And then he's going to go straight up into this little mini downtown area that we have over here. And he's going to drop people off in the tourism sector. And then we'll mirror the stop back. And then this links them up with the rest of the connections into this town. They have access to the, the green bus line and also the tram lines as well that bring them down into the little social hub over here. So I don't think there's a need to bring him back down there. We're only going to add more traffic to that area and it's already pretty busy as it is. Um, although he can come down here. We'll leave him a little stop there. And then he can get back on the highway and make his way back into our little um, one-way system. And then complete the line. Okay, so I'm wondering, how much is this going to be roughly? 
to construct all the way over here. Looking around twenty, around thirty thousand for the line. I don't think that's too too crazy money to pay. I don't think. Um, and let's just have a quick look at where we could put our other metro station. I think probably here is the best bet. Where there's a tram stop here, isn't there? Maybe here? Or here? Yeah, okay. Let's do it like that. And then we'll come off grid. And then we'll start our metro. Okay, so can these not come through? Do I need to... Oh, I'll just hit my Windows button. I think if I come down... Slope too steep. So can these not intersect the canals? I'm guessing not. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. What we'll do is we'll delete this here and then we'll rework that when we come down to that part of the coast. Because this canal is still being fed through, so it's not a huge issue. Okay. We need to bring this gear back up to the surface. And it can curve around. And then this little curvature here will also allow us to connect back up to our main city line when that eventually expands in that direction. Okay, so we'll create a line here. And then over here. And then we'll finish it back there. Okay, these guys are still whinging about no power. Let's see if there's any kind of... How about a plaza with picnic tables? We'll fit in there. So we'll pop a couple of those in. And then again, we'll just go about decorating this bit with a path. Also as well, what I wanted to do today was uh, start planning for our campus. Because since my last episode, uh, a new DLC has been announced for City Skylines. Uh, if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure if you're watching this series you probably have. Um, you can go into the City of Skylines YouTube channel and watch the unveil trailer for the campus expansion, um, which is giving us a whole load of new education assets, including university stuff. Um, so we can make real detailed campuses now. So I'm going to try and draw the road layout for that this episode. Uh, and then it actually releases tomorrow, which is the 21st of May. Um, so hopefully we can do some pretty cool stuff with that. Okay, how are these guys doing? They seem pretty okay. Maybe let's get some high-rise uh, commercial down here as well. Got a little bit of demand for that. I'm going to see what these buildings look like. Might not be too amazing. And we do have people using the Metro. Excelente. So I've just built this because eventually this will have a lot of bus lines on it. And rather than having them all start and end at the bus station, they'll all start backing up. This just adds a little bit of, um, not sure what the word is, suppose it just keeps it flowing. So they can come in through this one-way system and they can stop on this road, come further around to the edge of it. And it just keeps it flowing. It's a nice little design. Okay, they don't look too bad. Add a little bit more down here as well. Uh, maybe on this side of the road. I want to keep these fairly chunky. I don't want any little too deep block ones here. Like I have done there. We'll delete those too. Okay. And then maybe another one over here as well. And then we'll just make it a little bit uniform here. These guys have water. Nope. Okay. These guys are compl complaining of no power. Is that not reaching you from there? No, it's not. Okay, let's give them a little park. Maybe a little volleyball court. Oh, it's a basketball court, isn't it? Um, is there any other assets I can add in here? 
Maybe a tropical garden. Might be quite nice. I want to keep this area really kind of high-end and luxury, living by the waterside. Uh, and then there's also, I haven't covered this yet actually, this road that bends around here, it just comes down um, adjacent to the side of the canal. Uh, and then it actually turns into a little highway, uh, which people are using now, which is really good to see. Uh, although, I wonder actually, is it stopping people from... No, my concern was because this turns into a, uh, a two-way highway here. And then it just comes back down. I know the bridge is a little bit messy, um, but I had to do it to get around the, the bridges over here. Uh, and then this comes back down into our industrial estate, which just gives people a nice little link. And rather than force them, so say for example if they were here, um, they would have to go all the way up and around here, back onto the highway, down here and into this part of town. Whereas now if they are over this side of town, they can just jump on this little freeway and get over there. So in England we have quite a lot of these. Um, the kind of just national speed limit country roads that link towns to one another and um, just like they're not major highways like this not like we would call this a motorway this is kind of just like an not not an a road i don't know what the right word is for it but you know if you live in england you'll have these they just link towns using the national speed limit um oh, that's cool as well it has a little motorway symbol bridge that's cool i didn't realize that apparently it's 100 miles an hour that's probably kilometers isn't it so yeah, there's also this little bridge that links us back to the roundabout. That is part of our exit, and again, I'm aware this is so messy, especially that gives me crazy anxiety. Exiting out onto that highway would be super dangerous. I'm just waiting until I have some free time to fix all that up, but we will, we will, we will do it eventually, I promise. Uh, okay, so the university, I think, oh, there's a load of water here. Is that from me destroying the canal? Yeah, it must be. I've accidentally created a lake. Okay. Is it? It looks like it's draining away. I can't really tell. No, it's not, is it? No, that's fine though. We'll um, we'll do something with that. If not, just drain it back away again. Okay, so let's link these little paths up here that we've got. Uh, put snap tool back on for this. What needs to be pretty ridged in the way they approach there we go and down here and then this guy is going to break the power line isn't it okay let's delete it in a little bit and we'll bring it down here and now let's bring it up to that crossing so i'm not sure how many people will actually use this connection um, it is just a quick way and then eventually this path will just follow the canal all the way down. For some reason it's gener generated itself a little bridge, I'm not sure why, but that looks okay. Might actually be worth upgrading these two cycle paths. We'll see how much use it gets because I don't think it'll get a lot because it's just the distance that it's covering. This guy has no water. Let's bring that down to there. Okay, so let's have a little look at our uh, stuff here. So, planning for campus stuff, we have 870 that are eligible for university at the minute, which isn't a massive amount, really. Um, it could do with being a little bit higher. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to build it here. Um, let's bring this road down here. Adjacent with that one. And then our first university, which is going to be a relatively small university uh, in terms of what will, of how big the downtown one will be, the one that sits in the city itself. This will just be almost like a little kind of minor campus, if you like. So we'll draw it all out. Now we'll bring this guy up and connect him up there. And then there can also be a little, little side road up through here as well. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to, actually what do these rows look like compared? Yeah, that might be a better road to kind of enter into the university with. Okay, so let's go about here. This is about mid-centre, isn't it? Yeah, and then 
here we'll set our main building. Kind of our campus introduction where they come in here and they'll be greeted with the big building and then from here our roads will downgrade into our little tiled ones. And then I want to bring that back just a square. Oh no, did not mean to do that. There we go. And I'll bring these guys. Why can't I grab that? There we go, that's what I wanted. And then these smaller roads will serve the rest of the campus. So if I match that line up, there we go. And then over here again as well, how big was that distance? 480? So if you're new around the channel, uh, we recently started a Total War series uh, over the weekend, uh, which I think went quite well, considering how bad I am at Total War games. Uh, if you'd like to go and check it out, you can find it on the channel. We're doing a Tomb Kings Let's Play, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Okay, so we can obviously adjust these road layouts based on the size of the actual buildings themselves. Because obviously, you know, if we can't get anything in there, then we can just knock this road back a little bit. And then likewise with this as well. And we'll just make this a little bit more walkable. Using, how, how about these, these amusement park paths look quite good actually as well. Although the palm trees kind of ruin it. Maybe the, the city park paths will work better with the trees here. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And that's up to there, isn't it? So we've got, what, six squares in between? Yeah, and then there's another um, seven squares in between that one. That's just kind of up to the edge of that road, isn't it? So that'll leave, yeah, seven squares again. So there's only going to be one road into this campus. Um, you have to go through the main entrance, but for students that are walking kind of in and about the town and the city area, they'll have plenty of access into it with the paths. Yeah, that'll connect there, won't it? And then maybe one over here as well. Or straight down from there would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, so again, if we can't fit any kind of the new buildings in that little space, we can always knock these paths around a little bit. I'm sure there will be different tiers of buildings that we can grab for ourselves. And then again with that one. Um, where else can we put some? Maybe let's reduce the length of this road. Just to there, and then we can pop a path in. If I can grab that square, there we go. Super, and then over here again, and that'll just give us a little bit of a uh, little bit of walkability around the campus. And then again, actually, from a sky point of view, that one would make sense over there. I wonder if that still counts as a connection. That one does as well though, so we'll leave it there just in case, but we'll see if people actually use this little junction. I'm not sure if they will or not, but we'll we'll see how it looks out. So you can see how it's going to take place. It's just a little, a minor university campus. It won't be our main one. That one will be given to the honour probably over here. Yeah, this water is draining away. Is this like acid water or something? This is, look, look at the land this has just killed. I really hope that grows back. That's like a huge eyesore. It's just turned it into a dust bowl. That must be like... Oh, then again, it is seawater, isn't it? So, uh, technically it is acidic. Is salt and acid? I'm not sure. Okay, that's really annoying. <laughs> I hope that regrows again. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that at a later date. Right, so these guys are complaining of not enough customers. Um, we actually want to also have a look at this bus detail um, and change it to red. Uh, just so it's like a city bus. And let me have a look at your line details again. Okay, there's a ton of empty buses, so you need to bring your numbers right down. Drop down to like 10 buses. 
There's no need to have so many on that line when there's so many empty ones. Okay, and people are using the Metro. And you can see how this little system just keeps them flowing. Obviously, these guys are going to be returning home now because we just sent a load of them home. And hopefully, as this area gets busy and uh, a little bit more popular, we'll start to see some uh, a lot of different people coming in and out, which would be cool to see. How are we doing? Yeah, you guys are in the area. So we might as well uh, encompass this district just to cover uh, the bus station as well. And obviously the, the university will have its own district tomorrow when the DLC releases. So I will try to get an episode out for you guys on that where we cover um, some of the new stuff. Uh, as well as an episode of this Let's Play just so we can go over it and see what we, what we do and don't have to mess with. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe we can... I'll maybe wait till the university buildings are down before I decide what we do with these spaces. I might pop some... So you could probably get like a plaza with picnic trees in there. It would be quite nice. See how that looks. Yeah, so just little different assets like this. Almost like little congregation parts. And we'll do uh, some little custom ones as well. And expand the current ones like we have done over here. So like we had this little park over here where we drew in some uh, of the city park assets, even though it's non-functional, just adds a little bit of minor detail to what would otherwise be just an empty patch of grass. Yeah, so we've got some issues over here. These guys are abandoning their buildings. And you're saying not enough educated workers is your problem. Well, we don't have a university yet, so you just have to bring people in from outside, I'm afraid. Yeah, okay. How is this, um, let's leave the game on 3 speed and see if we're getting any people coming in and out of here. Yeah, it's not a huge amount at the minute, but it's because it's not linking to a very popular part of town. But from here they can get on the bus that takes them back to the forestry town over there. They can also get on a tram that brings them over to this side of town. So just thinking about the logistics um, of these buildings, is, there is a reason behind my placement. And also we just need to do a little bit of detail along here as well. So I'll maybe add a little tree line in. Just so it hides it from the the highway. I think also as well, maybe maybe do a fence along here too. Yeah, let me grab some of the fence stuff from the highway and we'll turn off the grid snap for this. So from right here. Up to the back of this building. And like down here. And then we'll do a big curved one through there. So this helps separate it a little bit. So this land just doesn't look as barren and as empty. If there's a bit of a fence around it. See so for me that makes a huge difference already. We probably do need some trees and bushes along this part actually. Let's do that now. We haven't done a... A bit of detailing for a while, and the city's had enough expansion now for it to for it to justify a bit of a detailing session. Let's do a bit of shrubbery around here, almost as though it's overgrown along the back. And we'll cover these little rocks, the little cliff face that's appeared around there as well. Okay, so that looks a lot better already, doesn't it? Uh, let's add some colour in there, actually. I don't tend to use much of the colourful trees, and I really should. Let's do a little colour tree ring around a metro station. Maybe two, a couple of small rocks. Just to appear in here. That one's a little bit too big, but you get the idea. Okay, super duper. Alright, so next time guys, we'll leave this one fairly short as tomorrow I want to do um, some uh, campus stuff, sorry. Apologies this episode feel a little bit rushed, I'm actually just on my way to go and watch the last episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, so quite looking forward to seeing how that turns out after um, the bells on episode 5. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones you'll know what I mean by that. And before we go, we'll just upgrade this to a... Uh, six lane. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Okay, so we might just start this part of town off. 
think it's looking quite nice now. Maybe let's try to get um, a screenshot and thumbnail there. Yeah, I think that, that should give us a nice thumbnail, I think. Have a little scan around. Yeah, so we're going to be starting off a real popular transit over here. Um, further down on this road, we're going to be doing um, probably a little, well not a little, quite a big um, commercial shopping district. Um, and then we'll see how that goes just down off that road there. That's, excuse me, my phone is ringing. So yeah, we're going to leave it there guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe. We are currently on episode 8 of a vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. And if you like what you've seen so far uh, with our little vanilla assets, uh, then please do stick around for the rest of the time. It would be great to have you along. And then also, I mentioned earlier about a new Total War Warhammer 2 series which has started. We're doing a Tomb Kings Let's Play. And we're right at the start of that on episode 1. So please follow that series. That'd be... Um, I'm looking for some advice on the Warhammer 2. I'm not amazing at it. Uh, there's also a link to our Twitch in the description where you can find me streaming some Destiny 2 and Xbox content alongside FIFA and Borderlands as well. So if you're up for some chill streams and just looking for a place to hang out, then that's where you can find it. I also want to just say we're over to four subscribers already, which considering I only started this channel uh, a couple of weeks ago, just over two weeks now, it was two weeks ago on Saturday I started it, um, to have four subscribers is really just great, and I want to thank those guys that have subscribed. It means a lot if you're still watching. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it, that's all I can say. And I hope you are enjoying the content. If there's any other games you'd like to see, do let me know. I'm always up for trying stuff that I love and new stuff as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all very soon.